All right, so in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up the or how to use the Google Keyword Planner. You're going to come over to Tools and Settings. Uh, the planner is right under Planning. You hit Keyword Planner. You hit Discover New Keywords. This also allows you to get volume and forecast. They're somewhat accurate, not super accurate, but for the most part, the Keyword Planner's uh, best ability is to actually discover new keywords. So say we're doing HVAC, we could do Furnace, Repair, Furnace, Installation, and HVAC. And we're going to target it to, let's do Hamilton, which is the city around here. And get results. So essentially what the Keyword Planner does is it shows you keywords relevant to the ones you're searching for, the average monthly searches, so whether or not this keyword is actually going to be relevant in your target area, uh, the three month, ch three month change, which is, is this going up? Is this going down? Uh, is it staying the same? And for all of these, they're staying the same. If there is a change, you'll see a percentage difference, either a negative or a, a positive, a year over year change. Uh, this is the same as a three month, but just year over year instead of a uh, three month change. Competition, this is somewhat relevant um, when trying to find keywords. Most of the time, it's not a super, super accurate thing. Uh, the, the best way to figure out which keywords work and which ones don't is actually to go through the keyword, uh, to actually have a campaign running and then look at the actual impression share you're getting per keyword. And then if that's 90% or higher, you're doing a good job. If that's lower than 90%, uh, chances are you have to adjust your um, bid limit especially if you're using uh, cost per click or maximum cost per click. Add impression share. So essentially, if we were running a campaign, you would actually see the percentage of the share, like I was just talking about, under here. So if it's you know 50%, 70%, 99%, whatever it is, uh, it would be under here. And as you can see, the furnace repair keyword is actually in the account, so it will pop up under account status. The top of page low range is the lowest you can essentially bid to be at the very top of the page. And then the high range is the highest people are paying to be at the top of the um, page. This is generally a good estimator of what you should be paying per keyword, uh, or per click, I should say. Um, they they really do a good job inside Google, like SEMrush, SpyFu, there's a whole bunch of other softwares out there that'll give you estimates. But I would say inside of Google, the most accurate one is the Google Keyword Planner, just because the statistics actually come out of Google, whereas the third party systems are more of, you know, inferences and guesses uh, and they compare past data to future data. Uh, it, it's really guesswork. Google does a similar thing, but I, I find they're more accurate. Uh, it's excellent for coming up with a maximum ad budget as well. So if you figure out your percentage of uh, or your conversion rate percentage, you can then multiply, say it takes, you know, five clicks to land one lead. You can then times this by uh, five. So it'd be like $23 times five. So you're looking at a hundred and some odd dollars per every lead. And generally in any Google account, you want at least one lead a day. That way you can optimize it and you can actually see data start to being pulled in. The keyword planner is an essential tool it's absolutely fantastic for generating new keyword ideas. Uh, you can also click on these. So you can add them to a plan uh, that essentially shows you and forecasts all of your potential results. It's kind of accurate. It's kind of not. Uh, it's up to you whether or not you want to do that. I generally just download it in uh, a Excel sheet, like a CSV file or a Google Sheets file. And then from there, I go in and edit it inside the either uh, Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets, and then we transfer it to the actual campaign. I find it's easier that way. Um, it just, it saves a lot of the uh, having to transfer stuff through Google's backend. Uh, it's not always the easiest thing to get a hold, or e easiest thing to do. The other thing you can do is add to an existing campaign. That is uh, not the best approach I find because it generally just throws everything into one ad group which is not what you want to do. You want to be as specific as possible, as opposed to just throwing everything and clumping it all together, one ad group and then praying something sticks. Uh, you want to be as 
clear in your messaging to your potential customer as possible. And that requires multiple eye groups, not just one. Uh, the nice thing they do do if you choose to actually go ahead and add it through the uh, keyword plan is allow you to change things into broad match, race match, and exact match. Um, that does it make it a little nicer instead of just like bulk adding it to broad match, which is kind of what they did at one point. You can also copy from here. So if you want to just copy and paste these keywords directly into your ad campaign, you can just hit copy and then you go in and you hit, uh, there's a con uh, control V or paste and it'll paste it into your actual ad group, which is very, very useful. Um, you can also hit add, add as negatives. Uh, do you want them as phrase match, exact match? Again, super handy tool to use. And then you can go down, you can, if you're wondering why there's only 10, you can hit 500, that'll show you, you know, 500 out of the 2000 keywords related to this. Um, you can also expand this, this is always nice to do, so you can see them all in full. All right, from here you can actually go into forecast, so you could add keywords to the furnace repair, we'll just do that, furnace relation. Ad group, let's we'll just make a new ad group. Um, services. And this is just an example. This is going to show you exactly um, Google's idea of what you would actually be generating in terms of clicks, impressions, costs, click through rate, uh, average CPC, which is average cost per click uh, over time and based on its market data. Is it entirely accurate? No, um, but it is a pretty good guess on what you're going to get in a return, uh, especially if you know your actual lead costs and the cost it, or sorry, how much money you make per lead. So how many leads does it take to make an actual sale? If you can divide those and figure out the actual numbers, this is a great um, system to forecast potential future results. Um, it also shows you different locations. I'll narrow this down to, we were doing Hamilton. So we'll narrow that down. Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. And as you can see over the, I believe this is a 30 day period. Uh, we'd have 340 clicks, $930 spent with a 30 day budget. So generally I would say probably a hundred bucks. It's pretty good um, for, an HVAC campaign in this area, just because I'm familiar with it. Uh, let's see if, you, yeah, let's add conversion metrics. I know we can convert at least 20%. That's excellent to add. And then we can see, okay, we're going to get 110 conversions for 3,100 bucks at $100 a day. I would say this is somewhat relevant. I could definitely see these numbers coming on later months. Um, generally not in your first couple months, just because Google hasn't optimized yet. But it's in the ballpark. So it's, it's an excellent resource to figure out if your keywords are going to be work uh, useful, um, if they're going to be somewhat profitable. Like if, if this gives you no chance of being profitable, uh, it's a pretty good sign that you probably shouldn't run the campaign. Uh, but all in all, it's a great tool to use. And then you can also change this into Mac manual CPC or automated bidding strategy. That'll help um, impact the actual uh, results of the campaign and its forecast it generates. So overall, and then you can go in here and click create campaign. Again, I wouldn't do that. Uh, generally, anything generated from the keyword planner isn't going to have, uh, it's, got, it's not going to generate with as many manual settings that you can adjust. And it's a pain to go back and adjust everything later on. But overall, the keyword planner and the forecast planner are excellent tools that every uh, Google ad user should be using and actually utilizing to their, its fullest ability. Because this this generates absolutely uh, an insane amount of keywords that are related to your account. It can be your most useful tool in all of Google ads. And I, I've set up campaigns just with this and had, you know, amazing results provided you, you send the traffic to landing pages, which, uh, you know, I absolutely love landing pages. But anyway, if you like this type of content, hit the like button, hit subscribe. Um, other than that, you guys have a great day.